I'm standing in the lobby of the Ulster Performing Arts Center, where just inside, actors and Hudson Valley residents Hillary Burton and Jeffrey Dean Morgan, along with a few special friends, are reading ghost stories to a sold-out theater in support of Astor Services of Rhinebeck. Third annual ghost story event for uh, the Astor. This year we are at UPAC and sold this thing out too. Why ghost stories? So when we first conceived the idea of ghost stories, we were sitting around in the candy store. It was the um, beginning of summer, and it was like, well, what's a kid-friendly thing? If we're raising money for kids, what's kind of a kid-friendly activity we can do as adults so people feel like children again? And gathering around and telling ghost stories is what we did all through elementary school and middle school and high school. So it seemed like a natural fit. And what a brilliant and successful idea that was. This year, by moving the show to UPAC in Kingston, Burton, Morgan, and friends were able to increase their audience by two-thirds. And, in addition to ticket sales, Astor benefits from a silent auction full of signed memorabilia and merchandise for sale, including artwork created by the kids of Astor. Well, it's a hugely creative bunch. Um, it's, I mean, I, every year I'm amazed by the stories that they're able to come up with. Um, they're usually funny and touching and scary, and you wonder where all that comes from. Um, but it's a very creative bunch, and when you hear their stories, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. The show started off with a performance by Burton's fellow One Tree Hill alum, Tyler Hilton, before they were joined on stage by Mary Stewart Masterson, Clayne Crawford, Michael Raymond James, Paul Rudd, and Hillary's dedicated Astor volunteers. The first reading of the night was performed by a distinctly creative young man of Astor. I jumped in the car and closed the door. Only then did he realize that there was nobody behind the wheel. I think what's so incredible is that everyone has a story. And the kids who are residents at, at the Astor home are people with really incredible story. I think the kids that are here as, as audience uh, have perspective on and appreciation for the life that they have, right? And then the kids that we're raising money for, um, that they realize that they have a, a place in this world. We hope they take away a moment and they, you know, get a little giggle, you know, and they go home and, and you know, they feel like they've had a, they've had a great evening. You know? And giggles were had by all in attendance. All in all, it was a fun and successful night for Astor Services for children and families. I wish you could see me standing in your laundry room when you're away wearing one sock.